Uh, my name is Justin, and I have a confession to make. I'm not perfect. I have gray hair, I could stand to lose a few pounds, I get emotional, I procrastinate, I occasionally have the demeanor of a five-year-old, I'm a pack rat, not a very good housekeeper, and to top it all off, I have an atrocious sense of fashion. I could go on. Uh, but that's okay. It is absolutely okay. I mean, are you perfect? Are you perfect? Are you perfect? Perfection is an airbrushed, high-hoisted, sort of unattainable ideal. It doesn't really exist. Um, you are perfectly you. I am perfectly me. No one does it better than we do. That's just how it is. Um, so many people find reasons to put themselves down and to tell themselves they're not good enough. Uh, I tell you, you are. You are absolutely good enough. You are more than good enough. You are totally deserving and completely worthy of anything that you could possibly wish to attain. I have a mantra. I've got even postcards that are printed out with this on it. It goes like this. You are good enough. You are strong enough, and you deserve every happiness. And I stand behind that 100%. <clears throat> Excuse me. What makes this person or that person better than you? What makes them more deserving? Absolutely nothing. They believe that they are worthy, and that opens them up to being able to accept whatever it is that they have or want or do. Just believing that they deserve it, that they can have it, that it's okay opens them up to receiving that. When you tell yourself you don't deserve something, that you're not good enough, you shut yourself off from even being able to try and reach it. So that's the first step. That is the key. Believe in yourself. Love and appreciate yourself. Find a way to show yourself daily that you care about yourself. It's going to be different for every person. Find something that works for you. Maybe a daily ritual before you go to bed or when you wake up in the morning, write down in a pad of paper that, you know, that you love yourself or that you are deserving, whatever. I mean, take yourself out once a week on a me date, something like that. Whatever works for you, just find a way to show yourself that you stand beside yourself. You have your own back that you support yourself. I mean, we do this for so many other people. We do it for our family, our friends, our significant others. Do we do this for ourselves? You need to remind yourself that you are standing behind yourself, that you've got your own back and you support yourself just like you do for everybody else because no one else is going to be there all the time. You are stuck with you. You might as well handle it well, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, you are the one that you're going to wake up with in the morning, you are the one that you're going to be with all day, and you are the one that you have to go to sleep with at night, every single night. And I just am totally blanking at the moment. <laughs> anyway, I'm sure you understand what I'm trying to say. Um, so really, find a way to remind yourself that you support yourself. I've said that like three times now. Anyway, if you just focus on being you, forget about being perfect. Perfect is like normal. They don't really exist. They are these fantasies set up for us that aren't real. No one is perfect. No one is normal. Everyone is different. That's all there is to it. And if you just focus on being you and you love being you, then that is going to light up the world around you and there's nothing more that this world needs than for you to love being you. Thank you for listening to me babble. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!